Today we will learn the basics of SQL using SQL Server Management Studio. You can download and install both SQL Server and SQL Server Management Studio from Microsoft website for free. SQL Server Management Studio should be connected to an SQL Server. Then you can create an SQL database file. These files are listed in databases category. Each file has a section named tables where you can create and manage database tables. In SSMS you can create a table using new table window or through query. All you need is column name and appropriate data type. Data type also includes maximum number of characters or maximum length of data allowed. To create the table, press save. Refresh the tables section, and your newly created table will be there. Let's delete this table and recreate the same using SQL query. Create table query creates a table. Here you define each column along with its data type and length of data permitted. Create table query starts and ends with a bracket, and column definitions in between are separated with commas. After writing the query, press the Execute button. Now let's introduce you to some basic, but very important, SQL queries. Select command is used to retrieve data from SQL table. Asterisk means all data. Since we just created our table, there is no data in our table. Insert command is used to input data into the table. You can use multiple commands in a single query. This query will first insert data, then it will display the updated table. Just put a semicolon at the end of each line. Congratulations, we have successfully entered a new row into our table. Let's enter some more. 
you can edit, and reuse, same query, as many times, as you want. You can also save queries, for future use. Delete command is used to delete a row from table. Delete command must follow a WHERE clause to tell the query what to delete, unless you want to delete the entire data. You can specify in which columns and in which order, the values must be entered, in an insert command. You can modify the existing data, using update command. Just like delete command, update command must also tell, which record must be changed, through where clause. If where clause is not used properly, content of entire column are modified. Where clause is used to filter data, when used with select command. Let's use where clause with select command as well, and see how it works.
You can also specify which columns, or in which order, columns are displayed, in select command. You can sum, numeric column, in select command. If where clause is used, the sum will apply to filter data, otherwise, it will sum the entire column. Similarly you can find out maximum and minimum values. You can use, and, or, and not, in where clause to filter data. Just like some function, you can use average, count in other functions in select command. Count function, counts the number of rows selected. Please feel free to ask any question, or leave feedback in comment section.